Are you shaming the masculine energy within you and therefore not seeing the results that you would like to see? Are you shaming the masculine energy within you and therefore not seeing the results that you would like to see? This is a topic that just recently came up inside Sacred Leader Academy with some of the women and I totally relate to this. There was a period of time um, that I shared with them where I literally sat on my couch for like six months and didn't do anything but meditate and just was very much in this very comforting, flowing energy, um, just very calm and peaceful, yet things in my business weren't getting done. And it's almost like it didn't even bother me. I was very much just, just constantly in meditation and mindfulness and tapping into my energy and at a certain point, I recognized that I was dishonoring that masculine energy within me, the one that really um, gets results and moves the needle. And one of the big wake up calls with, with this was that I burned through all my money. <laughs> that was a big wake up call because all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, there's, obviously another piece to this manifestation process that I wasn't getting or that I wasn't willing to embark on and that was taking action. And the reason that I was afraid to take action or resistant rather to take action um, and I just sat in my feminine energy receptive mode and I did a good portion of the manifesting process but the manifesting process is not a passive process. There is action required, inspired action. And so um, the reason I was so resistant to take action is because in my own personal story, I had been in such an over masculinated state of force and um, hustle and grind. And that was in my career. It was also just in society in general, but specifically in my career. And I was, you know, was very much into the hustle and grind, you know, you know, whatever you want to call it that you see online, you know, this miss independent, um, you know, always making shit happen and getting things done, this whole like boss babe persona, right? That I was wearing for a while and it actually burned me out. I was such, I was so in my masculine energy that it burned me out. I, I was overwhelmed. I was frustrated. I was fatigued. It eventually actually made me really sick because I was overly taking action. So I was imbalanced, you know, I wasn't really balancing the masculine and feminine energies. I was masculine dominant to the point where I felt guilty receiving time off, time to myself, taking a vacation, just not working, not doing something. I was, you know, my feminine energy was completely closed down. And so when I finally broke that cycle and started to heal, you know, my health and everything that was related to that cycle of hustle and grind, which eventually was always feast and famine for me because I would um, quit doing the things that we were doing as soon as I got comfortable. And then I would allow myself to just be in this state of non-action, like this passivity. And eventually nothing would get done. And um, it would cycle, circle back to me in the form of my finances and that would put a fire under my ass to get shit going again and I could instantly rebound, you know, because the masculine energy in me, energy in me, this ability to take action and get things done is such a powerful gift that I have. I am able to see the quickest way to streamline something, to get something done, to take to the thing that's going to really move the needle. That's part of my gift is really being able to tune into that. But when I finally went through the whole um, cycle of like healing up my health from this vicious cycle of hustle and grind and being in this, you know, um, non-receptive state with my feminine energy where it was 
you know, being reflected back to me in all different areas of my life that I was not open to receive and that I had to work really hard to achieve everything. This is so masculine dominant that when I finally broke that cycle, started to heal my body and come into more, you know, peaceful state and started focusing on meditation and mindfulness and stuff like that. Um, I didn't want to leave that bubble. I didn't want to leave this new bubble that I had created. I was like, this is nice. This is like polar opposites of where I was because it was. It was polar opposite. I went from super, super overproducing to super, super passivity, right? And underproducing. I went from one extreme to the next. And neither of those are going to work, right? It's about creating this beautiful flow. This is what I, <clears throat> excuse me. This is what I refer to as the yin yang creation cycle, right? It's about being in this beautiful flow of taking action on your intuitive guidance and um, honoring the masculine energy. And the masculine energy can get a bad rap. You know, it's all about, you hear so much about this divine feminine energy rising and all of this, which is true. But you have to offset that with the masculine energy. And if you're disowning, you know, this, the aligned masculine energy, not the disempowering one that is just running around rampant and causing this over hustle, but this, um, the masculine energy that takes action on your dreams and your guidance so that you can, you know, bring your dreams into fruition. They work in tandem with each other. And if you're in the, at this place where you're disowning your masculine energy because you finally have a break from it, right? And so now it's like, you don't want to lose your freedom. You don't want to lose your time, your downtime. You don't want to lose your self-reflective time. You don't want to not take care of yourself, not give to yourself anymore. And so it's like you take the polar opposite extreme. And so this I see happen a lot. I went through this myself and it wasn't until I started to balance both of my energies that everything started to click for me because the manifesting process is not passive. It does require inspired action when you're moved and when you're feeling guided to move. And um, there's this, you know, uh, you have, if so if you have these desires, but yet you're, you're just like not taking action on them, but you know, it's not in alignment with what you really want. Like there's a knowing there that it's not in alignment with what you really want. And what it's ultimately going to do is bring you back to a cycle of stress in the end. It's going to eventually bring you back to a, a cycle of stress and overwhelm and frustration. If you don't take action on what it is that you're being guided to do, but recognize this is why it's so important. Like the women that I talk to, they're obviously in the process of building out their soul aligned business. Many of them have quit their corporate jobs or their nine to five jobs in this over masculinated society. So they have already gone through this whole hustle and grind and masculinated um, uh, conditioning. So when they finally like break free from that, it's like there's a part that can disown the masculine energy. And you don't want to disown that aspect of yourself. That's a beautiful piece of the puzzle. It's a beautiful act, um, aspect of your being. It's the one that takes courageous action on your dreams, on your desires. It's the one that moves the needle in your business. It's the one that gets the results. And obviously you need that energy if you're going to create a business online or manifest anything in your life. Yes, being in your feminine energy, receiving, setting intentions, receiving the intentions, even receiving, you know, even the thoughts that you're vibrating at, you know, that calls to you a certain level of thoughts and things like that. So you want to be in balance with both. You want to be open to your receptive side of you and you want to be taking action on the guidance that you receive. If either of these are out of whack or you're in polar extremes with either one of these, you're off balance and it's going to lead into a cycle of dysfunctional um, situations in your life that are totally out of harmony and out of alignment. And so this also creates this vicious cycle. Like if you're over in the over masculinated energy, it's always bringing out this needy feminine energy, the one that's always needing something to happen. Right. And that's when the masculine energy is overcompensating for the lack of what's not, uh, for the lack of what the feminine is not receiving. So it just creates this vicious cycle. So opening up to receive finally and honoring your growth and your, and your, 
and your downtime and your self-reflective time and your self-care practice and nurturing yourself and all of that is perfectly part of the process to open up what was once probably very, very, very dumbed down, right? And really, really suppressed. And so you wanna open that up, but the next stage of the game is to also open up to the masculine energy that is in alignment with the divine feminine energy within you so that you can work in tandem with these energies. They come into a beautiful union and this beautiful cycle is then created, which is the opposite of the old cycle that leads to overwhelm, hustle, and burnout. Instead, now you have this new beautiful cycle where it's always in the flow. It's always in the flow. And so, this was just a really interesting topic that came up today and I know it's something that's played a huge role in my life. It was something that caused a huge breakdown as far as my health was concerned, being in this energy. And then opening up to my feminine energy was a process and a journey. And and there was a phase where I just totally dismissed the, the masculine energy, uh, taking action and t action oriented energy within me. and it wasn't working so it wasn't working out for me so this is just really important to recognize if this is what's happening if you're resonating with this video um, there is a balance to be struck right and it's very important that you have this balance so that you can be in the flow I refer to this as like flow entrepreneurship it's not hustle entrepreneurship and it's not passively sitting on the couch thinking that you're gonna manifest your dreams without ever taking action kind of entrepreneurship either you'll find that a lot of women that operate under that um, usually don't manifest what they're really looking for because they're not taking action on the guidance that is what that is received and so both of these have to be um, in balance in order to create the cycle that leaves you aligned, um, nourished, prosperous, satisfied, successful, expanding. You know, these have to come into alignment. So this is what I have for you today. If this resonates with you, please drop a comment below this video. I'd love to hear from you. And if this really resonates with you, I work with this energy within the sacred, all the members of my Sacred Leader Academy. In fact, it is a huge part of the multidimensional marketing strategy that I teach, which really helps you magnetize your message online. Um, and it's just an overall, overall art, arcing theme throughout the entire program. And if you want to learn more and get a taste of what that's like, um, you can watch the Soul Line Success Masterclass wherever you're watching this video. Um, and if that resonates with you, then you'll be able to hop on a strategy session with me. You'll get a special invite to hop on a 60 minute call. So I hope this video finds you well and I look forward to talking with you again in another episode very soon. Namaste.